This is Dr. Andrew Murray, General Cardiology Fellow from Mercy Mason City, interviewing here Dr. Josh Safe from WashU, Chief Resident. So Josh, I heard you've been accepted to General Cardiology Fellowship next year at Cleveland. I'm sure you're excited about that. What made you decide on the pursuit of cardiology? Um, so I would say that I've been interested in cardiology for a long time. I had a lot of exposure growing up. I uh, had the benefit of watching my father in practice. Um, so I, I shadowed him a fair amount coming, uh, coming into med school, but um, I actually developed probably a more specific interest over the course of med school and then residency, which was adult congenital heart disease. And I kind of fell in with a couple of the uh, uh, subspecialty attendings um, on our cardiology rotations. Um, and I kind of kept seeing these patients come in and similar stories every time, just a need for better structure to support uh, patients with congenital heart disease. And so that really got me motivated to pursue that as uh, an interest. So as a resident attending your first ACC, what would you say you're getting the most out of at this particular conference? You know. I would say that, you know, that's a difficult question to answer just because there's so many different things you can say. So, I mean, this morning we had a fantastic uh, session with uh, late-breaking clinical trials, um, and that was preceded by some historical perspective about um, the history of uh, cardiology in women. Um, there, you know, we're standing here in a simulation center, and there's lots of opportunity there, and uh, seeing tons of abstracts, interacting with lots of people, learning a lot about sort of practical and new uh, practical side of medicine and sort of clinical implications with new research. So, how would you say you found your mentor that kind of helped direct you towards this adult congenital? You know, um, you know, I would say that uh, some of it happened serendipitously. I, I uh, met some of the right people at the right time. Um, but I would say that at the beginning of my residency, we actually have a program to set us up with mentors. Um, and I just worked to develop that relationship, made sure I advocated for myself, made sure that we found time. Um, you know, even though we're very busy, we all, you know, we care, share a common interest and we both want to put effort toward it. So I think we just kind of connected on that level and decided to move forward. Would you have any advice to residents who want to pursue cardiology and to getting into a competitive residency or, excuse me, fellowship? Well, I would say, you know, make sure that you are, you know, working hard to take care of patients, but then also to find mentors within uh, your residency, your program, within your medical school for those, uh, those of you that are medical students. Um, and just work to nurture those relationships and see what develops organically. You'll find a lot there. Great. Thank you very much for your time. For more videos like this, please go to YouTube backslash fits on the go.